And here we are. So we're gonna turn this on now. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, This did you? controls, After did they you? kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? You know. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. Round of but applause. you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. I already did. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, okay. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Cool. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what Shit. I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. And but you're gonna keep begging me on, huh? Years. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. Oh, I that's barely what I'm know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. Ooh. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply good, let good you guy. sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. What a prick. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside. Do you have to do this or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, Shit. only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so uh, much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra you. time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea to concentrate, man? what you're supposed to be up. doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? That fails it. Look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No. <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. No one it's humble. a tragedy. No. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. I will fight. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. No. Mm -mm. Oh, this is different. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Further south? Stanley went around touching every Not little everything. thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Never know, you never know. Hmm. Are there more of those? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just keep it going then, shall we? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge. Do you guys remember this? Just to admire it. The employee's lounge. Wow. Yes. This room. Wow. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. See you later. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right. And last time we went in here, there is another option in there, but I haven't even and seen so this place yet. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay. Oh shoot, you you wanted me to go through there. Right. We're gonna take the elevator instead. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. Mm -mm. He wanted to wander about and get even further off it's track. It's true. So now in order to get back, he needed to go um uh I really fucked here, up, didn't I? It's um left. Okay. Oh no, no, it's to the right, man. You asshole. Stick. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Go for it. Now let's see. We went down right, right left, down, down right, left, right. right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Gotcha. I know what you are. There's some portal shit. Oh! No! 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 This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. 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 We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh. Who I, I actually don't know what's happening. It's all rubbish now. The whole story I'll see you later, but... How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No! And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. End is never the end is never the end is loading. Nay, 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 nay. Oh, now the papers are gone. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, fuck this place then. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining me. Great game. Great game. I want to see uh, the rest of the endings, or at least the low-hanging fruit. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Have a day you deserve.